I definitely have my own unique take on what I like to see, what, what I want in my closet. Um, but it really starts with texture. Like I think before anything else, I, I think of texture and textiles. I kind of became a collector of like beautiful things, of you know, things that lasted over time. And my goal really started to be that I wanted to create products that you could literally pass down to your kids. And that has to really start at a textile level. That's the way we start each season, is we we'd figure out what story we want to tell with either a texture, a wash, a palette, and then we go from there and we go about putting the pieces together. Growing up in Northern California in the early 90s, skateboarding felt really kind of homegrown and unique and something that was a culture that was like very much thriving in my backyard. The coolest thing about it was young guys would start a skate company with an apparel component. And for me, a kid who was super dyslexic, uh, struggled with school, that kind of became like my goal. That became the thing that I really wanted to aspire to. I started to collect vintage jeans, t-shirts, and champion hoodies. And I thought, if I can take bits and pieces of these classic wardrobe staples and perfect them, then this is my starting point. Our biggest success is in French Terry. And there's a sweatshirt that um, I designed in my apartment probably four years ago, which I called Villain Hoodie. And it's basically a side zip sweatshirt with an interior kangaroo pocket. And it was kind of a new idea. One night, the light bulb just kind of went on for me. I want to just continue to tell a compelling story with compelling materials. We're hopeful that 2016 is going to be another great year for us.